Number nine, Jerry uh, Hughes, H-U-G-G-E-S, says, does the fear of the Lord mean scared? If not, why is fear still used in today's Bibles? Translation problem? Confused here. And were dinosaur bones slash fossils created by the devil to cast doubt? All right, Jerry, you cheated a little bit because that was like 17 questions. (laughs) All wrapped up into one, two completely unrelated to each other. All right. I'm going to answer them though. All of them. All right. Does the fear of the Lord mean scared? Sometimes, but no. Inherently, it does not mean scared. In some contexts, you could, you could be afraid of God, right? There are those who have proper fear. God holds them in derision or that, you know, they're scared because judgment's coming upon them. But the phrase fear of the Lord as something that simply all people should have as a proper thing, that does not mean scared. If not, then you say, if not, why is fear still used in today's Bibles? Um, <clears throat> because here's, a, okay, we are simply, it seems to me in English, we are lacking a concept we used to have, right? So we have new words coming in all the time. You can Google something. Okay, well, that's, that's a new word. I mean, that concept didn't exist, but now it does. And the word exists for it as well. But fear of the Lord, that's a concept. We've, we've, we've lost, we've kept the term, but we've lost the meaning. We tend to think of fear as being terror, as being primarily like, oh, you scared me, or what are you afraid? And um, horror movies and scary stuff like that. Like that's what we think of as fear. Fear is um, uh, somebody jumping out to scare you. That's fear. But there's another concept, fear of the Lord, and the way fear has been used um, historically and in scripture that means reverence and awe, and, and not just reverence like, I'm totally safe reverence reverence that includes the idea that you're the boss in charge of me and you have the right and power to judge me. Now, if you think that means afraid, I'm going to, I'm going to push back a little bit and say, not quite because afraid implies that you, God, that God is unreliable or not trustworthy, or he flies off the handle. That's a different kind of fear. Those who were raised with parents who, um, were, were angry and harmful and hurtful because of of their irritations. That's the kind of fear you don't want to project on God because those parents, you, you couldn't like you had to, I know the feeling. Okay. You had to look them in the eye and think, are they in a bad mood? I better not talk to them tonight because they're not rational and they're, they're going to, I'm potentially giving them a reason to get mad at me. And so I'll wait till they're in a good mood. And when they're in a good mood, you maybe you wait a day, a week, and now you ask them the thing. Okay, that's not what we're talking about with God. God's not like this. He's unstable, so I'm scared. Rather, he's holy and righteous, and he's the judge of all things. So I have a proper fear of him as in reverence, awareness of his goodness, of his holiness, and of the fact that I will stand before him accountable for my my decisions in my life. So the fear of the Lord is all about giving God his proper glory and his proper place in my awareness. That's what the fear of the Lord is all about. Um, So is it a translation problem? It's becoming a translation problem, but let me ask you, like, what would you, if you just said, if you just said the reverence of God, I mean, I guess you could say that, would it really carry all the connotations? I don't know. Um, so I don't really know how translators are supposed to handle that moving forward. Um, then you say, are, were dinosaur, dinosaur bones and fossils created by the devil to cast doubt? Um, I think this is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing for people to think as Christians. Um, you will make, you will embarrass Christianity. If, if, if you as a Christian go around telling people that dinosaur bones and fossils were made by Satan to cast doubt. I want you to imagine for a second what you would think if you heard a Christian say that and you were not a Christian. You would think, I knew it. I knew it. They're all insane. <laughs> so, um, no, I don't think that they were created by the devil to cast doubt. Um, our view of whatever we think about the world around us and ancient history and all that is going to need to include the fact that those fossils were from animals that once lived. Okay. That that's important that we deal with reality. So yeah, that that's my thought on that, Jerry. 